Now after understanding the velocity potential function and the stream function, let's have a look at the equipotential line. Equipotential line is such a line on which the velocity potential is constant. This means that the value of phi would be a constant value. Okay. So this means that d phi would be 0. But in actual what happens is that phi is a function of x and y. Okay, it is not a constant value. So if you differentiate phi, that is d phi, you get curly phi by curly x into dx plus curly phi by curly y into dy. Okay, so if you remember the definition of the velocity potential function, that is if you find the negative derivative of phi with respect to some direction, you get the velocity in that direction. So this means that curly phi by curly x is equal to minus u. All right. Similarly, I'll get curly phi upon curly y as minus v. So I'll put both of these values in this equation. So that equation would become d phi is equal to minus u dx minus v dy. Okay. And this would give you minus u dx plus v dy. Now, we need to have d phi equal to 0. So, d phi would be put equal to 0. Okay. And from here, I can get u dx is equal to minus v dy. And from here, I can get dy upon dx is equal to minus u upon v. So that is the slope of an equipotential line. Equipotential line. Alright, so I hope you understood a very simple concept on equipotential line that is it is a line through you know, uh, along which the velocity potential function is constant uh, or you can say the change in the velocity potential function is zero. And this becomes the slope of the equipotential line. Now, after this, let's look at one more line along which the stream function value is 0 and talk about the line of constant stream function in the next video.